the value of a for which one root of the equation x square minus a plus 1 into x plus a square plus a minus 8 is equal to 0. Exactly one root lies in the interval d comma e. Now only one root lie in the interval d comma e. Again, we have to visualize the things, right? Initially, we don't have an idea about the lambda. So I'm going to just assume a tentative graph. Hello everyone, welcome to LN Overseas. It's a very special day to start this series. In this series, we will cover 45 important topics in 45 days. And the topic distributions are 15 physics, 15 chemistry and 15 maths. I am going to cover this section here, maths. This is the study challenge we will cover in the series. So without wasting too much time, let's start our series with first topic that is location of root which is under the chapter quadratic equation. So without wasting too much time, let should we start one of the type I'm going to start here. That is both the root lie on either side of a fixed number say D. We all know to enhance the command on any particular topic, we should have an idea about the graph as well as visualize the things. With the help of graph, you can visualize very easily. Okay, fine. So alternatively, one root is greater than D and other is less than D. Okay, fine. So I'm going to make one of the graph which is in front of you like this. So here you can say alpha and beta are two roots between of these two we have a one number that is D, right? So this is the condition or D lies between the roots of the given equation. The necessary and the sufficient condition for this are A into F of D is less than zero. How sir? See, at D we are getting less than zero value. At D, we are getting less than zero. It is negative. But why I am multiplying with the A? You know, you have to consider A. Why? Because there is one more possibility in which maybe the curve you can make as a downward. In that particular case, if you have downward curve, that is something like is this way. There, you are D, you will get positive. If you only have a D, which is less than zero, but here you are getting positive. But at the conclusion, that's why I'm going to multiply with the A because here your A is also less than zero and here your A is greater than zero. You know, if A is greater than zero, then there is no changes in the result. But if A is less than zero, there is also no changes in the final result. How? A is less than zero, D is greater than zero, product of both again you will get less than zero that's why we are concluding like a into f of d we have always which is less than zero now again one more thing if you are thinking sir what about your discriminant this is not necessary you can consider you can check but trust me there will be no changes in your final answer now we have one previous year question on this individual type so let's start the previous year question, the value of a for which one root of the equation x square minus a plus 1 into x plus a square plus a minus 8 is equal to 0, x exceed 2 and other is lesser than 2. That was in J means 2013. So as I told you, first of all, you have to make the diagram and fulfill the given data according to your question on a priority basis, right? Here you have coefficient of x square, so I am pretty sure I will make upward parabola okay fine now second one the value of a for which one root of this equation exceed 2 and other is less than 2 so that means let's say if one one of the root i am going to take here that is alpha another one which is beta so between of these two you can consider as a 2 which fulfill this given data exceed the 2 and other is lesser than 2. You know, at 2, we are getting less than 0. Here also, you can multiply with the a. So, a into f of d, we are getting less than 0. Just we need to fulfill this condition. a into f of d, we are getting less than 0. So, a, here we have the coefficient of x square, which is 1. Similarly, d, we are going to consider this 2 as a d. Now, we are going to design f of d there or f of 2 
So f of 2, we have to write less than 0. So what are you waiting for? Put here 2, then you will get what? 4 minus of a plus 1 into 2 a square plus a minus 8 less than 0. You will get a square and here you will get plus a minus 8 plus 4 minus 2a minus 2 which is less than 0. So a square minus a and then minus 8 plus 4 minus 4 minus 2 minus 6 less than 0. So when we are going to solve with the help of middle term split then you will get a minus 3 a plus 2 which is less than 0 right. Now with the help of the wavy curve you can conclude your a will goes how minus 2 to 3 your a will go through minus 2 to 3. Now see in which option yes in option number c we are getting from minus 2 to 3 it is correct one. So this is the process how to deal in such type of question. We have one more type I am going to discuss with you and also we have one more previous year question. So on the basis of that you can see like this is the importance of this individual topic location of root right. So second one type exactly one root lies in the interval d comma e. Now only one root lies in the interval d comma e. Again we have to visualize the things right. So where d is less than e I am going to conclude. So the necessary and the sufficient condition for this is it should be f of d into f of e which is less than 0. How sir? See here. We have d and e like this. Between of these two we have exactly one root. We have exactly one root which is something like alpha let's say alpha one of the root here is beta you can also write d is here and e is there but the condition is simple it there should be one root lie between of these two d and e right fine how we are getting f of d into f of e is less than zero again you can check at d we are getting positive at e we are getting negative so the product of positive into negative you will get negative so that's why f of d into f of e is less than 0 we are getting here. So this is the thing you need to check here. But here if you are thinking sir what would happen if you have downward case again there will be no changes in your final conclusion you can visualize this thing right d and e in that case for example d we are getting negative then e we are getting positive. So the product of both negative so there will be the no changes in your final answer. But there in this particular type you need to remember you need to see one important note what happened if you have this at d and e you will get zero so the meaning of this in this case also check the endpoints interval is close say d comma e at d or e if you are getting as a zero then the meaning of this no other root should lie in between d comma e why if you are getting at d and at e as a 0 that means they become itself as a root of this particular equation isn't it they will definitely lie here and there so in this particular case there will be no other root lie between of these two now we have a one previous year question again on the basis of this that is the set of all real values of lambda for which the quadratic equation this always have exactly one root in the interval 0 comma 1 we need to find and this is p by q from j main 2020. Now the set of all real values of lambda we need to find for the quadratic equation have exactly one root in the interval 0 comma 1. So the graph of this one again we need to visualize. Let us say the graph sir we can write initially we do not have an idea about the lambda so I am going to just assume a tentative graph I am going to giving you that is maybe 0 is here and 1 is here and between of these two we have one root that is alpha tentative 1. Now in this particular case f of d into f of e it should be less than 0 ok. So f of d that means 0 f of 0 into f of 1 it should be less than 0. f of 0 when we are going to put there then you will get here it will become 0 
here also zero only two you will get okay fine now f of one for one here you will get lambda square plus one only so lambda square plus one next minus four lambda only plus two minus four lambda plus two it should be less than zero now two you can become take an rhs it will become zero so lambda square minus 4 lambda 2 plus 1 3 it should be less than 0 now you can again do the middle term split here send lambda square minus 4 lambda plus 3 as like minus 3 lambda minus lambda then you will get lambda minus 3 is one of the bracket and lambda minus 1 is one of the bracket it should be less than 0 right now according to this we are getting your lambda it will goes how with the help of the wavy curve you can conclude your lambda will goes from 1 to 3 within the small bracket and once when i am going to see in the option i am getting 1 comma 3 but there is a close bracket then i am getting something there is definitely a one twist and yes there is at the end point you need to check once what actually are happening here okay fine no problem so when we are going to put one when we are going to put let your lambda is equal to one i am going to consider there if lambda is equal to one then in that case you will get 2x square minus 4x plus 2 is equal to 0 Either you can divide the complete equation with the 2, then you will get x square minus 2x plus 1 is equal to 0. Either you can write this thing x minus 1 whole square is equal to 0 or x we are getting as a 1. x we are getting as a 1. That means we have the one of the root that is 1 only. One of the root we have 1. Fine. And similarly, when we are going to consider let lambda is equal to 3 then in that case we are getting what lambda is equal to 3 then we have 9 plus 1 10 x square minus 12 x and in the last we have plus 2 is equal to 0 so either you can write this one as a 5 x square minus 6 x plus 1 is equal to 0 do the middle term split here 5 x square minus 5 x minus x plus 1 is equal to 0 so we are getting phi x you can take common then you will get x minus 1 is one of the bracket and phi x minus 1 is one of the bracket. So from this again we are getting x is equal to 1 and x is equal to 1 upon phi. Now observe the things. Once when we have x is equal to 1 that means the root is 1. If the root is 1 that means the 1 it should be here. The 1 it should be here and according to this condition always have exactly one root in this interval so one we will not consider now what about one upon phi so one upon phi will definitely lie between zero and one so in that case we have to consider the value lambda is equal to three in our final answer i am repeating again why we are considering lambda is equal to three because one upon phi is lie between of these two between of these 0 comma 1 1 upon 5 is exactly lying so that's why we have to consider 1 comma 3 that means 3 and that would be the final answer that's all from my side on this topic don't forget to watch the complete series the link is available in your description box if you have any query or any suggestion feel free to reach out to us through your comment section thank you